Um, so the strategies I learned through the PPT um, are very easy to apply with my son, both um, I know they apply them here at school and for me at home to be able to continue um, with those same tools and, um, and strategies um, is an easy thing to do because we incorporate them into our daily routines, um, we incorporate them into things that we do before school, after school, activities on the weekends, I mean things like um, positioning your body so that your child's attention is towards you, um, waiting for um, either, my son is um, not verbal at this point, I mean he's limited uh, with spontaneous speech, so I look for a lot of body cues, I look for when he angles his body towards something, um, I look for that gleam in the eye that's talked about throughout the videos um, to show me that he's interested and that he wants to pursue something. Um, I also like the, um, the idea of viewing what he does as intentional and purposeful because um, without that language piece, it's hard to know. So I've learned to really cue into, um, for instance, there are drums in the corner of this room that we're in right now. If I saw Max enter the room and look over there, in the past I might have thought, oh, he's just sort of taking in what's around us. But now if I saw him looking over there, I'd think, oh, he has an idea. He has an idea about those drums. And I might voice that to Max and say, hey, I saw you look over at those drums. I think you have an idea. Let's check them out. Or maybe you're interested in those drums. So the idea of using the tools and the, that you know were presented um, as far as helping Max to become aware of things, aware of his own ideas and his own power within the environment, and that I'm tuned into that, right? So that I see that and acknowledge it and help it bring it into an open space that we can explore together.